Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, e-registration, so either 1987 or 88, I think from memory it's an 88, this one actually. Um, Land Rover 110, genuine county station wagon. Uh, at some point in its life it's been um, refitted with a genuine Land Rover reconditioned exchange um, 2.5 turbo diesel engine. Uh, but it is a genuine county station wagon. Um, let's take a walk around it and pick out some good bits and bad bits. I mean, spec-wise, first of all, it's got uh, Weller 8-spoke. Um, rims on it, a set of four. It's got mud flaps, sunroof. Uh, being a county, it's got the colour coded light units, um, grill, and eyebrows. It's an 11 seat, although we do actually have a, um, a 12th seat for the, uh, the middle between the front two if you want it, in the same, uh, I think it's in the same pattern as this. Um, one point to note it has had the rear doors replaced with uh, what looked like good. Um, a good used pair, both rear doors, so the paint is slightly different on them, both uh, both of the rear doors. Um, it's got tow pack with combination, um, adjustable height tow pack with combination Pintland ball on there. Um, that's probably about it. Right, let's take a walk around it. The, the paintwork on it isn't, um, isn't wonderful. It is its original colour, this blue. Some parts of it are the original paint, some bits have been uh, um, touched in. Um, looks like with a brush or possibly sprayed, but it's not, uh, uh, it's not you know, the best looking one in the world, but it's reasonably straight and, uh, and clean. Um, front bumper's a bit rusty, certainly on the, uh, the off side here. Um, not, uh, not expensive to replace, I think they're about £65 plus fat if you want to put a new one on there. Um, and it's obviously got the plate there for a, a front tow hitch on it as well. Oh, it's also got the factory steering guard under the front, which is quite good to have. Um, around the front end here, bonnet and everything the paint all looks original here so there's a few areas of paint loss and stuff on the bonnet where it's been polished hard and stuff um, there's a section on the offside wing top here which around there which has been touched in with a brush in a slightly darker bluer color and the same along there um, it's obviously had front light guards on it at some point which have been removed looking down the near side all looks uh, pretty straight and dent free by Land Rover standards down there Near side front wing all looks pretty good, but again, it has been touched in um, this whole section up around there, around there, around there, around there, around there, around there, to there, anywhere lower than that, apart from the eyebrow, has had, um, it's been uh, been repainted, as I say, with a brush in a very, very slightly darker blue. Um, but it's not too bad. Up here on the scuffle, it all looks fairly original up here, just starting to bubble up, just by the uh, the windscreen hinge on the near side, but it all still feels pretty strong and, uh, and tidy, and it's all very good up above the... Um, um, the scuttle vents and everything, that's all good on the near side, A-post looks good. Near side door again has um, had a big section around there and up there to there and down there and then down the bottom there um, painted in. Some electrolytic reaction on the base of the door and you'll probably find the uh, frame is poor, we'll have a look in a minute. Um, inside here the interior is actually not too bad on this one. Um, driver and front passenger seats are pretty good, the front passenger seat base is a bit stained. No more than that, but the mats and the carpets are still there actually in there, which is most unusual. Tunnel cover carpet could be better, could fit better certainly. Um, but the dash is all there and all nice. Headlining's actually headlines really good. That's a, that's a replacement headline. It's in the it's not the original factory one. Um, it's got the replacement headlining. Um, but as I say, we have got the middle seat for the front if you want it. In the back here, um, three seats with uh, seat belts and stuff. The middle seat is a mismatched one. Looks like it's from uh, um, a slightly earlier vehicle, but it's in vinyl rather than in cloth. And the, um, the rear seats are all in place. The rear mats have been replaced with, or uh, well, the rear carpets have been replaced with a mat, which doesn't fit very well the other side. Um, going back to the door frames on this side. Yeah, front door frame is pretty much rotted out on the bottom there. But uh, it still shuts well enough and it's not, uh, not droopy or anything. Still pretty good, that's fine. Um, as we said, B, B and C post all looks good. As I say, the near side rear door has been replaced with uh, obviously a better one than came off, although this one isn't fantastic. Um, it's rotten through there in the usual spot in the, uh, the top of the frame. And the, see the base of the frame doesn't feel too bad. A bit of rust on it here and there. Looks like it might have been, yeah, looks like it might have been repaired at some point. In the back here, there's only other, one other thing. The, um, a small hole there it's not regarded as being structural on these fortunately 
um, but just the uh, the sill edges. Um, the edge of the floor there has got a small hole in it. Um, and the near side rear door could fit better, in fairness. I think probably the latch, the latch just needs adjusting to take it onto the second thing. Um, again, a bit of paint uh, has been touched in on the um, uh, quarter panel there. Near side rear wing all looks original. Bit of electricity reaction on it here and there. And a bit just up underneath the windows there. Around the tail end, um, again, a few bits touched in on the tailgate. Up here, down there, around there. Tailgate doesn't look... Um, too bad though from the outside the rear cross member is hold just up here just on the very end of it up here and it's starting to crack along there um, and same on this side it only passed an MOT a month ago and although I know it uh, failed on a few things that needed repairing the, apparently the MOT man said that um, it wasn't um, wasn't bad enough to warrant replacement I'm not sure if our MOT guy had done it he'd be quite so um, so benign about it should we say so uh, uh, I think certainly for its next MOT, I think you probably need to budget for um, uh, either cross-member repair or uh, even better still, cross -member, rear cross-member replacement. Um, but say, you know, as far as the MOT goes, he said, no, it's fine. But um, so I'm not sure my MOT people would have agreed with that. In the back here, the rear seats all look pretty good. They're all nice. It's got the mat in there. Um, rear door frame is a bit scabby on the bottom edge and very scabby on this corner, in fact. But it still seems to shut nice, and it's got the um, it's got the wheel on there. Shuts well enough. Not bad at all. Um, looking down the offside, apart from again the offside rear door, probably latch needing adjusting because it doesn't seem to be closing all the way. Uh, although it doesn't spring open or anything. Um, offside rear wing has got a large chunk of paint loss and reaction just down on the um, the very base of the offside rear wing just there. But otherwise, apart from some electricity reaction up here around the, the rear window, it's not too bad. The tub top trim is starting to rust just along there on the offside, which is again very normal. Um, the quarter panel has been painted it would appear. Again the offside rear door has, has come from a, another vehicle because it's a slightly, very slightly lighter blue um, and again has rusted up the top here along there. Um, hasn't got a check strap on it. It actually feels actually reasonable down on the bottom edge there bad at all actually. Um, the mat obviously is, um, doesn't fit completely because it's not uh, coming across all the way on that side. Driver's door, same as the passenger one really, it's been touched in up here and up here obviously to um, get rid of some of the reaction along the bottom edge of the driver's door as well it's been touched in. There is still some reaction showing through though. Um, <coughs> inside here as I say the, dri the driver's seat is pretty good apart from a slight wear bit just there showing 136,000 miles. Uh, again, the carpets are all in place, um, but the driver's door frame is rotten. You can certainly see it's uh, rotten in the corner there. Um, and it's very rotten, in fact, but still shuts well enough. And there's a tiny bit of movement in the bottom hinge, as you can see, but um, it still shuts well enough. It's still got a bit of life left in it, yeah. A-post looks all good. Uh, scuttle corner on the driver's side again looks original doesn't look as if it's ever been um, had the repair panel put in if it is it's been done very very well and just a tiny tiny amount of bubbling just coming up just there but that's about it uh, offside front wing um, looks like it's been repaired at some point there's a sort of slight dent depression doesn't feel quite the way it should just there um, small dent around there and it's been uh, hand painted brush painted around there um, but otherwise not too bad. So yeah, slightly probably a beaten out dent in the offside front wing corner. That's about it really. Um, certainly drives nice and it is a proper county station wagon as I say with uh, almost a year's MOT and a uh, load of tax as well. That's about it. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk. Uh, we take part exchanges, we take Visa and MasterCard debit cards and credit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards. Um, and we can ship it anywhere you like in the world, obviously at a cost. That's about it. End.